From collecting our rubbish to repairing our roads, from providing low-cost housing to managing leisure facilities, local governments across Europe do all this and more, and most people in Europe use the facilities provided by local councils much more often than they use services provided by national governments. The Council of Europe believes that for democracy to be effective, citizens must be active in shaping their own lives in their own communities. The Council of Europe is an intergovernmental institution with 47 member states, but for several decades it's been networking central governments and local authorities. There are 300,000 regional and local councils across Europe, and they're brought together by the Council of Europe's Congress of Local and Regional Authorities and united through the work of the Directorate of Democratic Institutions. Europe's geographical and demographic diversity presents local authorities with many different challenges, from the intensity of managing huge conurbations to the difficulties of serving people living in the remotest parts of our continent. But across Europe, all local authorities face a similar challenge, managing the expectations of the communities they serve in the context of democratic accountability. Here in Bordeaux, on the French Atlantic coast, the Council of Europe recently co-hosted a meeting that aims to put citizens at the heart of leading change in local government, in particular through innovation. Local authorities everywhere are under severe budgetary pressure, but expectations of their performance are always increasing. Alain Juppé is the mayor of Bordeaux and also served as French prime minister, so he has a broad perspective on this issue. Citizens today are desperate to know if politicians are keeping their promises. So to be able to show them that policies lead to results and to measure those results with precise indicators is definitely something that makes democracy work better. The Council of Europe's decades of networking in this field has been aimed at enhancing the quality of local government for all citizens. It's an approach that's won the backing of both national and local government. We learn from each other, we challenge each other, we don't assume that what works in Bordeaux will work in Liverpool, but it enables us to ask the question, why do they do it that way, so we can take the principles of what they do back with us to our own cities. The added value is, of course, to get new ideas, but also to see the experience of different municipalities and regions in other parts of, of Europe and perhaps also to learn from uh, uh, failures of others and perhaps also get uh, some support. The Council of Europe has accumulated a vast amount of knowledge from its work with both national governments and local authorities for more than half a century. That knowledge is now made available by the Centre of Expertise for Local Government Reform, a unit within the Council of Europe that coordinates the exchange of best practice and produces toolkits to help local authorities to adapt and change. The latest initiative from the centre is the European Label of Governance Excellence, designed to recognise outstanding local authorities. Implementation of the label is currently underway. Strasbourg, where the Council of Europe is based, was one of the 40 original pilot cities. Broadening our horizons by debating these issues allows us to get to the heart of the matter. In this respect, the Council of Europe has a vital role because of the diversity of its member states, because of its different rhythm and because of the cultures and history of the peoples of Europe. I believe strongly in these exchanges, these opportunities for analysis and comparison to learn from each other. The Council of Europe enables us to mobilise local authorities and wider networks so that we discover more about each other. We are enriched by learning about the ways in which things are done in other countries. The digital world is not something that isolates people, contrary to what we once thought. In fact, it can be a catalyst for inclusivity, as long as we develop good practices and good services. And it's at the local level that we can find the most interesting and useful examples of this. So I think the label is a great idea. Bordeaux is another city that has piloted the label initiative, and for the city's long-serving mayor, good governance is not just about what you can do well, but learning what others do better. It's fair to say that sometimes local authorities can be self-absorbed or looking only at the national context. So to go beyond that and to look at what's happening elsewhere in Europe is definitely very enriching. 
I hope the Council of Europe can further develop this kind of initiative and bring us together more often. Local democracy across Europe is undergoing rapid change, and for many local authorities it's not easy to adjust. But for the Council of Europe, a time of change is an opportunity for improvement, an opportunity for stronger democracy.